Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. Even though the 2010s are not viewed in a positive way regarding Cartoon Network, you know, there weren't too many amazing things to come out of the 2010s. We actually did get some good stuff. You know, we had Adventure Time, we had Regular Show, Gumball, Steven Universe, uh, Ben 10 was, you know, coming to a close at least. There were still some good things. And one of those things that I haven't really talked much about on this channel before is what I view as the best iteration of the Looney Tunes, and that is the Looney Tunes show. Now, the Looney Tunes show, at the time when it was coming out, I remember there was a lot of marketing for it. I remember they actually had a sweepstakes uh, where you could win a free cruise because the first episode was about Bugs and Daffering entering basically Wheel of Fortune Jeopardy game show. It was one of the two, I don't really exactly remember, but the prize was to win a cruise. So they entered a contest to win a free cruise, and I remember Cartoon Network actually had a sweepstakes, you could win a free cruise. And if you didn't win the free cruise, they were second prize winners, got a Looney Tunes show beach ball and a Looney Tunes show string bag. And I actually won the second prize of the sweepstakes. I actually did, I, I actually, to this day, in my room in a container, I actually have that beach ball, and I have that string bag. So needless to say, the marketing for the Looney Tunes show, there was a lot of it. There was heavy marketing for it. And I remember at the time I was like, oh, okay, cool, another iteration of the Looney Tunes. Sh you know, Scooby-Doo and the Looney Tunes are two properties that I would say every three to five years, we get a new take on it, a new iteration of it. And... I was just like, oh, okay, cool, a new Looney Tunes, uh, I'll check it out. And I was completely surprised with what we got. The Looney Tunes show, if you don't know already, it is a sitcom of the Looney Tunes. a sitcom with Looney Tunes characters. So basically, Bugs and Daffy, they live together, and they have all these different neighbors. So Granny's one of the neighbors, and obviously she has her pets, Tweety and Sylvester. Uh, there's a witch, I don't know her name. Uh, she's one of the neighbors with her son, Gossamer. And there is Yosemite Sam as another neighbor. And so basically each and every episode revolves around something different happening in the neighborhood, you know. And Lola is a love interest to Bugs and she lives in the neighborhood as well, but she's not one of their immediate neighbors. Porky's there. Basically all the Looney Tunes characters you all know and love from past iterations of the Looney Tunes. I just remember when this came out, I was pleasantly surprised. I absolutely loved the Looney Tunes show. I actually remember I used to record each episode on my DVD player, so then I could rewatch it as many times as I wanted later on. Now, eventually, we got them officially on DVD, well, the first season at least, and I, I did pick that up because it was much higher quality than my recordings were. But the Looney Tunes show is just... Hands down, in my opinion, the best Looney Tunes iteration. If you haven't seen it, I like I said, I highly recommend you check it out. I really wish, honestly, my one wish is that I would love to see Cartoon Network actually air this show during the day. I would tell you right now, if they say, I don't know, 11 o'clock every day in the morning, or, or even like 6 at night or 7 at night, they had reruns of the Looney Tunes show every day, I would make sure that I'm locked in to check out reruns of that show. I absolutely love the Looney Tunes show, and if you don't have it, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you try to get the DVDs, or you try to watch it on a streaming service of some sort. I don't know where that would be. Maybe you could get it on, you could definitely you could buy it on iTunes, you could buy it on Amazon. I just recommend you check out this show. Trust me, it is worth the watch. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.